It's happening right now. House Democrats are voting to select the next minority leader in the House of Representatives. Nancy Pelosi, I'm going to say old guard, being challenged by the new guy, Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan. And look who's here to pass judgment on all of this. His name is Tucker Carlson. All right, Tucker, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, Mr. Barney. <laughs> Mr. Barney. Oh, so okay, I'll take it. Now, it's possible that Nancy Pelosi will win. What does that tell you about the Democrats? It tells you a couple of things. One, California has the largest congressional delegation out of 50 states. Two, she's raised a ton of money for Democrats over the years, and not that it's done any good. They've got the, sm <laughs> they've got the smallest <laughs> share of Congress since 1928, but they still appreciate the dough. But most importantly, it tells you they've learned literally nothing from the past three months and from election night three weeks ago. Nothing. I mean, the message is middle America has turned its back on Democrats, and it's very hard to keep a majority in the Congress or to win the White House without the middle class of the country. And Keith Ellison is not the, your ticket back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tim Ryan is, is actually. Well, wait a second. There, there's two elections going on here. Today is for the minority leadership of the House, Pelosi versus right. Ryan. Coming up, it's for the chair of the DNC. The DNC that chair. will be exactly right. Keith Ellison versus Howard Dean. The far, far left and the mere far left. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, you're laughing, but it's true. I'm not sure the Democrats know how far left to go. Well, that's it. And, and I mean, thank you for remembering, for putting Howard Dean in context. I mean, it was only, what, 12, 14, 12 years ago that he ran for president as an insurgency campaign against, um, uh, against Senator Kerry. And he was the embodiment of the left-wing activist base of the party. People laughed at him. Now he seems kind of a moderate figure in the context of the modern Democratic Party, for sure. Where are they going? I mean, I, I, they're, they're leaderless. There is, they're, not, they're divided. There's no unity. Right. Can you give me a guess? Where are they going? Here's the problem. I mean, it, it, the party is inherently unstable because it's a coalition of the rich and the poor and no one in the middle. And so that just doesn't work long term. Ultimately, they'll unite in opposition to Trump. Trump will unite the Democratic Party, of course. Um, but for right now, you've got a couple of constituencies. You've got the Black Lives Matter group, that would be the Keith Ellison group. You've got the Bernie Sanders group, which is sort of young, white, intense, progressive socialists. And then you've got the people who actually run it, the Clinton family. And they're the smallest group, and, and also politically the most moderate. So my guess is that the Sanders people will make some sort of deal with the Keith Ellison people, and the party will just move dramatically to the left. I don't see any other way. Great. But what's the policy? I mean, we've had eight years of all government all the time, exactly. sort of neo-collectivism, right. if you like. What will be the right. policy in the future? Can they possibly wrench themselves back to a position where they're strong on defense, they support business, and they want right. growth in the economy? Can they ever get back to that? Well, it's interesting because identity politics is not a policy, of course. It's a way of dividing up the spoils from the biggest economy in the history of the world right now. And so it's a way of saying your group gets this, your group gets that. There's no actual ideological glue that holds it together. It's an interesting philosophical question. Um, I do think the Bernie people, you know, they're about class warfare. They're about, you know, hurting the rich to help everyone else. That is an ideology, and that does have policies that flow from it. But they don't seem to have embraced that at all. It seem, really does seem to be doubling down on identity politics. And yeah. uh, that's a dead end. You know, Tucker Carlson, you, you just seem to be having far too much fun. It, it shouldn't oh, be legal yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gleeful. And yet it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love your show. Tucker well, Carlson thanks. tonight, weekdays, 7 o'clock Eastern on the Fox News Channel. I love the fights that you get into right from the get-go at the top of 7 o'clock. Love it, Tucker. Keep on winning, please. Thank you, Stu. I, I appreciate it. Sure.